So if you have delved into 3D printing at all, you will have run into the problem of items not adhering well to the print bed. PLA is pretty good for sticking even just to the heated glass, uh, but products such as this Tech G, here you can see the entire print was ruined because at these corners, it started peeling up and warping the whole piece. So what I'm going to be looking at today is a product called Print Bite, which in theory is going to eliminate that problem. We're going to just take a look at what we have here. All right, so this is slightly flexible. It's got a self-adhering back. We'll need to actually prepare the print bed to adhere to the print bite. So the surface needs to be clean, ensure that there are no fingerprints left on there. Okay, so the tricky bit is going to be getting this on without leaving any air bubbles. So I think the best option is going to be peeling the backing off a little bit at a time as opposed to revealing all of the adhesive at once. going to line up that first edge. This should be fairly well adhered now. It looks like there are not any air bubbles or any pieces of lint stuck under here. It's fairly well centered on the bed. Now it once again needs to be cleaned. The plate is now ready to be installed back into the printer. Per the print bite instructions, we've gone ahead and cycled the heat through twice, heating the plate up and then allowing it to cool down and then cleaned it off. So now we're ready to go ahead and start the first test print.
I have completed several test prints now on the print bite surface and the results have been excellent. I have a variety of sorting hats printed here. This small one was done without a brim. It adhered perfectly well, slightly more difficult to remove from the print bed surface, but the lack of brim did not affect the adhesion. These larger items were done with the brim. Larger surface area came off perfectly smooth, but absolutely zero peeling, curling, warping. Everything is perfectly level and well adhered. And the same with the largest one. I also did a tree of Gondor, which was a little bit more complex. Again, still a perfectly smooth back that was level and perfectly adhered. Zero prep in between. There's no need to clean the surface. There is no need to apply a fresh layer of tape or glue. It's very easy, very effective. And when you compare these perfectly level results that adhered properly all the way around to the same material printed without the print bite surface, there is no comparison. I mean, this peeling completely ruined the piece. Same for this here. I mean, it just, it warped, it peeled right away. Next time, I'll continue testing the print bite surface. It's performed excellently with PLA and Tech-G. However, I would like to see if this performs equally well with some other types of filament.